Let's put on an electric kettle and listen to the sound it makes. The kettle starts humming soon after being switched on, although the water inside it is not boiling yet. This process deserves special consideration. To see what happens, we put a transparent glass full of water on a hot plate and measure the temperature inside it with a thermal sensor. When the water's temperature reaches 40 degrees, the walls of the glass get covered with tiny bubbles. But it has nothing to do with boiling. It's the way the air, which was dissolved in water, comes out of it. At 80 degrees, there are hardly any bubbles left on the walls. The water in the glass is humming quietly, and there appear other kinds of bubbles floating up from the bottom. At 90 degrees, both the humming and the bubbles formation increase. Let's look at the bubbles in slow motion. The bubbles emerge at the bottom, then detach themselves from it and float up, shrinking to a really small size. At this point, the water's temperature is lower than 100 degrees, while the hot plate's temperature is of course higher than that. So at the bottom, the water gets heated up to 100 degrees and water vapor bubbles appear in it. When a bubble surfaces, it cools down. The vapor in it gets condensed and the bubble bursts. When bursting, each bubble makes a sound. We have recorded the sound signal. This is what a burst bubble sound looks like. And here's another one. At 100 degrees, water boils actively, but bubbles do not go up from all over the bottom, but from particular spots, which are called bubbling sites. Here's what this process looks like if you record it with a speed camera. Now, the bubbles don't shrink when they float up, but become larger, looking like big jellyfish. When we decrease the heating of the hot plate, we can see that there is just one bubbling site left, which creates a chain of small bubbles floating up. Here's another experiment. The water in the glass has stopped boiling. We take it off the hot plate and add some salt to it. Miraculously, the water in the glass is boiling again. Can you explain this amazing phenomenon? Share your ideas in the comments to our video on YouTube.